the valley pure is the water that flows from the boy but my love is fairer than any as my love was fairer This is a song from 1955. Back then, one of the big stars was a fellow named Eddie Arnold, particularly in the country field. He was known as the Tennessee Plowboy. He was active from the 40s into the, well, into the 60s. In 1955, he was on tour, and he had an idea for a song, but was afraid that he wouldn't have the time to do justice to it. So he gave the idea to a friend of his named Cindy Walker, who wrote the song. It was a hit for many, many people, including Eddie himself. become a country classic. Who longs to 
kiss your lips and longs to hold you tight. To you, I'm just a friend. That's all I've ever been. Job, Snake. Thank you. Great job. Okay, thank you, Snake. So, okay, so up next is going to be Doug Danforth, and following Doug will be Jan Luby. So, go ahead, Doug. There you are. So, not on the, there, we there, are. there you are. Uh, I'm just going to play one piece. This is a piece by Mauro Giuliani. Um, he lived from 1781 to 1829. He was an Italian composer, virtuoso guitarist, and an must have been an amazing musician because he also played cello in the orchestra that premiered Beethoven's Eighth Symphony. Uh, the piece is called Variations on a Theme of G.F. Handel. And uh, I've heard the piano version of this on the YouTube, and it's really quite amazing. But because the guitar cannot do what a piano does, Giuliani made his own variations. And in fact, I'm only going to play the first variation after the theme, obviously. First variation to fifth and the sixth. So with that. Doug, we're not hearing the guitar. Really? Did you have the guitar turned on? Check them. Microphone. Strange. But you can hear my voice. I can hear your voice, yes. So, so do you have, is the guitar and your voice on the same mic? Yeah. And you've got original sound on. It says on at the top. Yep. So if I Good. whack a note here. 
Okay, I hear that. All right, so maybe I just wasn't playing loud enough. Yeah, maybe you just want to point it at the mic or something. Back. So, you know, I'm going to move this mic closer. See if that helps any. Is that better? Uh, I play the guitar. Yes, I can hear it. It's okay now? I think so, yep. Uh, it's probably still soft, is it? No, it's loud. If anything, it's loud. If anything, it's loud. Yeah. It sounded like it was <laughs> cutting out to me. I'm, I, I, it really sounds like he doesn't have original sound on. Yeah, but, it, well, <laughs> the screen says it's on. Okay. Um... I'm At the top, it says original sound for musicians colon on. That's what it should say. You say it's on, yes. Okay. Try try so playing a bit. Just try a couple of a uh, couple of notes here again. I moved the mic back. But now it's cutting out. No. Now you're off again. Yeah, it's really. Close it. it, it, it closer. No go. Oh. No go. Yeah. Any of the original sound? Try turning off that echo cancellation. Let's see what happens. Settings. I've always had the high fidelity music mode on in the past, mm -hmm. but we'll try it without. Try it without high fidelity. Try this. Yep. yep. Okay, there, okay you there you go. Okay. Well, now there's some echo, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh, there is echo now? I think it's I think on Dan. No, no, I got mine too. We're not we're hearing, hearing it when you're playing. playing. We're hearing, we're hearing it when we talk. Yeah, just as you mean yourselves. Yeah. That was my practice session. No, no, I'm just kidding. And now it's gone again. It's no good? I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't hearing, hearing until, until, I, until, until I, 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 yeah, I, I, I muted, muted and now it. I'm hearing echoes. But. Let me try uh, something else. Set it back to the way I've normally done it. Okay. You know how this, I'll just play a couple of measures and tell me how this is. Very good. Like we hear three notes and then it stops. <laughs> so much for science, huh? Wow. Um, well, I can just not use this microphone and use the little cheapo mic that's out on my camera. Let me just disable this thing. After you've switched your mic, you'll need to make sure that original sound, you'll need to turn the original sound back on. You are absolutely correct. And I just want to make sure that... Oh. Again, I'll just play a little bit and I'll start over. This is okay. No. Is that good? It does. It, it, it's weird. There's nothing until I say something, and then... Technology is weird. Maybe Dan needs to hum along the whole time. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I, was, I assume everybody else is having the same issue, right? Yes. Okay. It's not just something in my speaker. <laughs> um. 
I noticed that the gain was turned almost totally off. Yeah, well, that might make a difference. I don't use this mic other than playing guitar. So. Not hearing anything. Yeah, we're not even hearing your voice anymore, Doug. Yeah. Okay, there. How about now? Oh, hearing my voice old. now? I hear my voice. Play a little more. Voice. Play a little more. Play something. Play. Okay. This is a blinking, and I think I bumped the mute button, which explains why you weren't hearing anything. Okay, let me try this. No, I mean, it really sounds like original sound, or not original sound. Let me try it once more. With the playing around of the microphone, it turned itself back off again. So let me try one more time. Good thing I'm only playing one song. <laughs> Going through? Uh, some of it was coming through. It's, I think it's kind of loud and it felt like it was cutting out. Try turning the gain down a bit. How about just play acoustically using the uh, vocal mic? That's what he's doing. Yeah, um, yeah that that, that, well, then why is the voice always working? Same problem. That, I turn gain. Down significantly. Let me try that. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at it's, all. It's, it's magic. The voice <laughs> is clear as a bell, and the guitar just doesn't want to come through. And it's only one mic. No, it's and, just one mic. And, and the voice works, but the guitar doesn't work. I know it's the same mic. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Weird. Nice, not nice at all. Um, Can you sing it? <laughs> did, you happen, did you happen by the devil on a street corner by any chance? <laughs> See if there's any other place on the computer. <laughs> Help me, Eddie. I don't have a clue. It's my <laughs> 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 I don't know. Um, so right now you have it the way you usually you have in the past. Yeah. You've got original. You got the same. high fidelity mode turned on, echo cancellation off. Um, yeah, I went back to the original, original stuff. Is uh, that we try that? I can turn yeah, high yeah. fidelity music mode off again. Whatever that's worth. Right. Echo cancellation off. Yeah, turn that cancellation off. And, and and, but that was how we started mm -hmm. out. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is coming through at all. The guitar isn't coming through. Guitar isn't coming through. But uh, everything else your, is coming your, through. No, your kidding. voice, your voice is, coming is coming through. through. <laughs> okay. Um, Are you, just, Are you using just using one mic? One mic? Yes, there's just one, one mic. It's sitting wow, half wow. an arm's length. It makes no sense, sense at all. At all. 
And it's, it's echoing it's again. again. <laughs> it's echoing? I am. I am. So I really it should is echoing, echoing good. good. Really should have echo cancellation on. Could you try it one more time with everybody else muted? Just play the guitar and and just for a yep. half a minute. Dan is still unmuted. No, not coming through. Um, it, it came through for a while. I'm not sure whether it cut out or whether you stopped. Try, well, try playing for a little bit longer. Maybe I should just play it, and if you catch some of it, you get it. Because I, I don't know what to, what else to play with here. It's over.
Well, what like that what last chord sounded great. I mean, it, it just kept cutting in and out. It's very weird. What we heard was great. Yeah, piece, great pieces of it. All I could suggest is to, is restarting the computer at this point and see what if if that would make a difference. Yeah, I was wondering um, if maybe the mic wasn't facing the computer before, but so there were gaps. You're saying, well, wow, I'll listen. Yeah, to it. but it would sound great for five seconds and then 10 seconds of silence and then five seconds. Oh, really? That's, Try that's using very, your iPhone. Very... It's better. My iPhone, the one that I don't own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and ne next time, you know, we, we, uh, Doug, you and I could go off into a breakout room and we could see if we can debug that. Yeah. We're, or, or come in early and we can try to get it working. And make sure it's working well beforehand. Yep. Yeah, I have another open well, mic in about a week or so. Yeah. It's not going to get solved before then, I'm sure. It's always oh, well. I don't know. Anyway, I'm okay. Gonna... It's a mystery. But thank you for trying. It, it, <laughs> did, what we, it did sound good what we could hear. Okay, so up next is going to be Jan Luby, and following Jan will be Paul Beck. So you can go ahead and let Jan. Or Ergo Canto. Already. Is uh, it Ergo Canto? Okay, it's Ergo Canto. Yes, it is. But it's Jan for now. Hi. Um, sorry, I'm not going to show my face tonight, folks. Um, it's just been a horrible day. Uh, so... Um, recently was reminded of this song that i don't know if it's finished um but it sort of seemed like a saint patty's day song um strangely enough so um i don't know if anybody has ever heard of meng po uh but uh if you believe in reincarnation i don't know what i believe but if you do um she she comes and gives you a very bitter drink and uh it makes you forget uh the life that you just lived you know when when you die she gives you this drink so that's so it's a strange song one of one of the strange ones the lady of forgetfulness offers something to drink it's bittersweet and very strong to erase all memories. When I climb back up on the wheel to start again, I'll forget everything, even my best friend. Here again I turn around As on my way I go It all feels so familiar As you walk in my shadow Why do I feel I know you? The air is full of light There's something I remember slips off into the night why can't i recall the circle all the way round just bits and pieces return to me a past lives lost and found lost and found lost and found I'd never taken that 
winding road that led me to the coast. But I felt like I was going home all those many years ago. Now how can I be returning to a place I've never been? Memories in my mind of dear old Ireland. Why can't I recall the circle all the way round? Just bits and pieces return to me A past lives lost and found 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 Beautiful. Nice one. Thank you. I'm. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a. Vocally, I'm also a shadow of my former self tonight. But I'm going to try another one here. Um, just because we're coming into uh, the days when I can walk my dog very early in the morning and it's light out, uh, I thought of doing this. I wake early, open my eyes Through leafed out trees I watch the sunrise So thankful for mornings like these Downstairs my little dog waits for me Wiggly and sweet and so happy to go out walking early morning streets no one else is outside the air is fresh and clean just me and the little guy who came to rescue me Silver moon fading in the sky, chased by the sun to the other side. All is well, another day's begun. No one else is outside, the air is fresh and clean. Just me and the little guy who came to rescue me. Da 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 So thankful for mornings like these. Yeah, great. Really nice Thanks, everybody. Great That's to hear y'all. Hope tomorrow is a better day for you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jan. So coming up next is Ergo Conto, even though it says Paul Beck. And following them will be Bev Tappen and Leslie. How is your foot? Um, getting a lot better. I'm... Uh, out and about and driving a menace to society again and <laughs> um, it's still in a big um shall boot. we say a uh, um boot. star wars boot yeah so for another month but yep i'm uh, hobbling around now sometimes without crutches or you know other assistive devices your, your volume could come up oh am i the only one not hearing them well it's, I've um, got it up as it's, 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 it's up, Leslie's uh, mic that's lower than, than Paul's. Oh, 
Oh. Huh. Okay. Let me get closer to the mic then. How's that? Better. Yeah. Probably, okay. She probably needs to eat it because I'm loud. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So uh, are we ready to go? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> In that case, uh, we're going to do a couple covers. This first one is Leonard Cohen. Um, They sentenced me to 20 years of boredom For trying to change the system from within I'm coming now, I'm coming to reward them First we take Manhattan Then we take Berlin take Manhattan then we take Berlin I'd really like to live beside you baby I love your body and your spirit and your clothes but you see that line there moving through the station I told you, I told you, I told you I, I was, was one of those You loved me as a loser But now you worried that I just might win You know the way to stop me You don't have the discipline How many nights I prayed for this To let my work begin first we take manhattan then we take berlin i don't like your fashion business mister and i don't like these drugs that keep you thin I don't like what happened to my sister First we take Manhattan Then we take Berlin I'd really like to live beside you, baby I love your body and your spirit and your clothes but you see that line there moving through the station I told you, I told you, I told you I was one of those Thank you for those items that you sent me. The monkey and the plywood violin. Well, 
Well, I've practiced every night. Now I'm ready. First, we take Manhattan. Then we take Berlin. Ah, remember me? I used to live for music. Remember me? I brought you groceries in. Well, it's Father's Day and everybody's wounded. First, we take Manhattan. Wonderful. And point this way so I don't drown her out with the guitar. Um, this next one is a John Sebastian song. I've been waiting my time just to talk to you You've been looking all down in the mouth And down at your shoes So baby I came to give you the news I'll paint rainbows All over your blues I heard you've been spending A lot of your time Up in your room and at night you've been watching the dark side of the moon You don't talk to nobody if they don't talk to you So Buddy and me came here to sing you a tune This really ain't the way Let's go for a bounce On my trampoline I can show you the prettiest Mountains that you've ever seen You better run to your closet And fish out your blue suede shoes Cause I'll paint rainbows All over your blues I'll paint rainbows all of your blues. Nice. <laughs> Two great songs, totally different. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so up next is going to be Bev Tappen and following. Her will be Deb Goss, so go ahead, Mom. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Okay. Um, the, first, the first poem is about my grandfather and my father's side. And he wasn't a perfect man, as the po poem makes clear. Uh, I will say, say that he had an interesting um, job, which no longer exists. He would settle claims for fires started by the railroad engines. In those days, I guess they put out sparks and it caught on brush and so forth. So, okay, it's called Keeping Score. My grandpa taught me to play cribbage. Two points for his nibs, he'd say. And if I'd wrongly count some cards, he'd take those points away. He'd 
Part of the turkey in the pantry, the spaniel at his feet. Some bits of skin and gristle he'd let fall for Tippy to eat. My grandpa smoked a fat cigar. They said he liked to drink, take up with women in the bars. It gave me cause to think. My calm and literate grandma never spoke of his defects. Like her, I'll give him a measure of credit, but not my full respect. Uh, lately, I've been seeing a cardinal out on our feeder here. We do have snow on the ground, and the cardinal is quite a splendid sight uh, with the snow in the background. And what did I call this anyway? Winter's on the wane. I thought I heard a cardinal speak, but how could that possibly be? The temps are in the 20s and the parking lot is icy. Every shrub is rhymed with silver. Snow has coated every tree. How does any bird find shelter? Where uncover any seed? Still, I know it's not much longer till he'll claim his nesting site and be calling out to warn the other cardinals of his rights. Then entice a tawny female to co-sponsor their new tribe. That's it. Nice ones, thank you. Okay, up next is Deb Goss, and following Deb will be Bunny Barnes. So go ahead and unmute yourself, Deb. Okay, I there think I go. did. <clears throat> uh, I've, gotten, I've got an unaccompanied one first, <laughs> and then I'm going to try the piano. We'll see what happens on the sound here. It's kind of a Joni Mitchell Oops. year. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I hope. Yes, okay. yes, All right. I can. So, okay, so um, I'm picking this key. We'll see how it works. I'm, I, uh, I guess I always kind of went for this song because I came from the country to the city. Never made it very often to the beach, but here, here's song to a seagull. Fly, silly seabirds, no dreams can possess you. No voices can blame you for sun on your wings. My gentle relations have names they must call me for loving the freedom of all flying things. My dreams with the seagulls fly out of reach, out of cry. I came to the city and lived like old Crusoe on an island of noise in a cobblestone sea. And the beaches were concrete, and the stars paid a light bill, and the blossoms hung false on their store window trees. My dreams with the seagulls fly out of reach, out of cry. Out of the city and down to the seashore to turn to the sun on my shoulders and wind in my hair. But sand castles crumble and hunger is human, and humans are hungry for worlds they can't share. My dreams with the seagulls fly out of reach, 
out of cry. I call to a seagull who dives to the waters and catches his silver fine dinner alone, crying, where are the footprints that danced on the beaches and hand that cast wishes that sunk like a stone. My dreams with the seagulls fly out of reach, out of cry. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I stayed in the same key. That's a good thing, but it's not the key I practiced it in, so. <laughs> I'm experimenting with that one. I haven't sung it in a really long time. Um, here's another one from a long time ago. Uh, and I'm going to try playing it. It's actually in my key, we think. <laughs> Can you hear any piano on that at all? I can. A little Sounds bit? Oh, well, it's just going to keep the beat. Not, not a big deal. We'll, we'll see what works. Um. What goes up must come down. Spinning wheel got to go round. Talk about your troubles, it's a crying sin. Ride a painted pony, let the spinning wheel spin. You got no money, you got no home. Spinning wheel all along. Talk about your troubles and you never learn. Ride a painted pony, let the spinning wheel turn. Did you find your directing sign on the straight and narrow highway? Would you mind a reflecting sign that let it shine within your mind and show you the colors that are waiting just for you spinning wheel spinning true drop all your troubles by the riverside catch a painted pony on the spinning wheel ride catch a painted pony on the spinning wheel ride catch a painted pony on the spinning wheel ride Thank you for listening. Great. <laughs> it sounds great. And the piano actually came through pretty well. Maybe it was a little bassy, but other than that, it was fine. Yeah. Well, it's it's out of tune, so, you know, it just does its best. <laughs> yeah. Is what it is. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. That was great. Okay, so up next is going to be Bunny Barnes, and following Bunny will be Cheryl Proft. So go ahead and unmute yourself, Bunny. Well, howdy, y'all. Is my guitar hey, picking up? Yep. Okay, then. So I don't have much of a voice. I had um, surgery recently on my vocal cords. So, um, as as always, my guitar is singing for me. And um, I know it's past St. Paddy's Day, but I really love this arrangement that I do of uh, Danny Boy. So I thought I'd I'd play that for you. It's one last chance to get Danny Boy in in this year. So <laughs> here you go. This was originally arranged by a friend of mine, Ron Rickert, who ran a music studio that that I taught at. And he's long gone. And um, my other another teacher, uh, Bob Smith Smitty, did uh, help me with the ending on it. Uh, and there are parts of me in there as well. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank you. Let me make sure I'm in tune here. Um, so um, I am kind of feeling sorry for myself, <laughs> um, having just had this surgery. Um, I'm fortunate. It was, it was dysplasia, but um, that meant it was contained to my vocal cords, and um, they removed the lesion. But that was uh, eight weeks ago. And this is what I have, and it's not much. So I'm a little, a little feeling sorry for myself. So I thought I would do you the um, title track of my CD. If you don't, I know some of you have it already. Um, the title track is all about why I ended up in this situation from a surgery that I had. Um, 2007 through 2009 there were five surgeries and um, the title cut uh, it goes like it goes the the main line in the song says maybe what's good gets a little bit better and maybe what's bad gets gone so it, that was my mantra during that whole two years and um, it's come back around again to be my mantra again so here's it goes like it goes goes like it goes. That's gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much Thank for welcoming in tonight. Really Thank appreciate you for coming. It. Thank you, Dan. Wow, that was beautiful. Yes. Okay, thank you, Bunny. So up next is Cheryl, and hopefully following Cheryl is Dan Carley. He's got his guitar working. So go ahead, Cheryl. Hello. It is, uh, it is so good to hear all of this music, all of the songs and poems. Good to be here. Uh, this first poem is called Earth Feasting. I wrote it uh, when my friend uh, took me into the woods of Omega, where she was working one summer and uh, had me. She was teaching meditation there, and we sat down in the middle of the forest. And uh, when we came out, we wrote, and I think I wrote five poems in a row. It was a good time sitting there and being in the woods. This afternoon, I hear the wise words instructing me to sit down and take in while walking in this forest. I've learned to stop questioning when it comes to the omniscient earth so I sink down to the fertile moss and all delicious gray and brown, beautiful, decaying things. I let the earth take me in her long, arboreal arms and rock me in all the arc ripened roots of the still standing trees until I feel the deep, loud thrum coming from the umbilical cord of earth maternity calling all good food and sustaining growth that flows through the decay and the bloom and the rise and the fall of all past years to make their way into me. Just like the blood that flows green and brown and blue through us all of earth and life and growth and death and sky, while all the mossy paths of surrounding deciduous trees and vibrant pines of green rumble their way from forest floors into the veins of me. And I take it all in, not aware how famished I've been for so very long. And the second poem I wrote uh, uh, sometime in the last uh, three years or so. Um, and it's called Connection. And I did go to an open mic uh, in Portsmouth um, where they have a band uh, a company. It's called Beat Night. Band Accompany the Poets there. And uh, so I, that's when I last read this poem. I am the multitude of stars. I am the multitude of all beings on this planet that I feel these days and love so much like a last hurrah inside of me, outside of me. The deep raw beauty and all the offerings of this earth given so generously Yet often we don't even see how very related we are to every single particle. Did I really know when I was younger, like I know now, realizing with opening eyes how short and precious this life here really is? I think of the conversation I had with my 14-year-old niece this week. All of her mind and heart seemed wired into the technology of her phone while we were talking. She asks me, why is the earth important? Why do we have to be so good to each other all of the time? I think back when I was in my 50s, 
waking up to this question again of how very interconnected we really all are on this planet while beside my wise ancient dog taking a nap outside in the deep warm sun. I think of the news of our human generated pollutants, all the domination and drilling of land, all the toxicity from wars and division having impact on the earth's life-giving layers of ground and air of atmosphere above, like one of Dr. Emoto's decomposing snowflakes in contrast with the beauty of the other resilient flakes of snow. I think of when I was chanting Om Mani Padme Hum in a meditation group last night and feeling like I was a tiny fleck of star in the galaxy, being there amidst billions and beyond, just resting in place and loving everything around me, just giving light the very best that I can. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. So great. Thank you for coming. Okay, Dan, are you able to play? Well, that's a good question. Uh, my guitar's pickup is definitely a goner. I'm gonna have to uh, take it apart, or in, if that doesn't work, bring it to a luthier. But the uh, pickup's definitely not working. There's two of them in there, and one of them's misbehaving. But I'm wondering, maybe I can go acoustic. Let me see what this sounds like. Um, can that be heard? Yep, sounds good. All right, let's do acoustic. Go ahead. Um, for, uh, for a lot of my professional life, uh, retired now, but uh, I worked for a uh, IFAR, which stands for Institute for Aging Research, and uh, did aging and different types of aging research, which I'm sure we can all relate to. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, the reason I bring that up is uh, I always people ask me, "What'd you learn from aging and so forth?" And you know, aging is a complicated subject, but if you put it in a one sentence or whatever, it's really about a uh, quality, not quantity. So I was reading this article, uh, this quote about aging, and it said uh, it's not the years in life, it's the life in years. So I, I sort of took that as, uh, that built the song around that, and that became the core of the chorus. And uh, in any event, it's called uh, Enjoy the Ride. And uh, if you can hear me, it'll go like this. <laughs> Without knowing, living their lives, not asking why, the world is turning, time passes by, working hard, getting it done, making millions while we're still young, but precious time costs a lot to spend, and youth is something we cannot lend, I don't know, but I've been told if you don't slow down, you won't get old. But aging never brings me tears. It's not the years in life, it's life in years. Bow we are. When we're young, life's carefree. Time seems like eternity. Seems so plentiful and free. Not a rare commodity. But as time flies by as our web is spun, you know youth is wasted on the young. Ironic times become our guide to value life. Enjoy the ride. I don't know, but I've been told if you don't slow down, you 
won't get old But aging never brings me tears It's not the years in life, it's the life in years That was terrible. Yeah, it was good. I'm great. Man. Thank you. Get a little bit of water here since I'm sort of cutting off. Sounds great. Well, here's here's another one I wrote, and I just wrote this last week, and so this is the uh, this is the only time I've ever played it. So let's first try. This one, uh, a lot of times I write songs, I, I don't know, it's sort of like the radio, I just turn it on and I don't really know what it's about and just sort of try to get a signal in. So um, this one, I guess, is about, uh, you know, everybody's got their opinions on stuff and uh, everybody's trying to tell you, you know, what the right way of thinking is and, you know, putting their two bits in. So this one's called uh, Black, White, Red, and Blue. So first try at it. And white, red and blue, different views with much ado, different like day and night. One's not wrong, one's not right. I don't care what you say, I'm doing it anyway. Don't tell me what to do. I got my own point of view. I'm gonna think this through. Consider different points of view. Someone headstrong Telling me What's right and wrong Don't affect my choice I've got my own thoughts and voice Dogma's not my cup of tea Thinking's what sets me free I'm gonna speak my mind No longer waiting in line Been sideways, up and down This crazy world won't get me down I'm gonna think this through Consider the different points of view don't need someone headstrong Telling me what's right and wrong Black and white, red and blue Different views of much ado Different like day and night One's not wrong, one's not right Great, thank you. Okay, I think we've reached the end of the list. I don't see anybody here. It's not on the list. So today, at 5.30ish, it's officially spring. So I'm gonna finish things off with this one.
find the song, mix the fuel, sharpen the chain, top off the oil, then you pull the starter, check the chill, and wonder if the damn thing's broke. Here we go. Branches, curse splinters, chop the twigs, make a pile now. Go inside and rest for a while. Clear and brush, cutting weeds, fighting brambles, raking leaves. I'm gonna pick up the snow brought down. Spring clearing. You pile up the brush, then you burn it down. When the fire's out, rake coals around. Water the ash, time for a bath. Tomorrow more spring clearing. Thank you. Terrific, Dan. Do you have a new one? Uh, no, that's an old one. Nice. Living in the country. It's nice. And Pete yeah, said nice. living in the country at the Sarah. end, yes. Good. Beautifully done. So thank you all for coming out. Yep. Um, it's great night. Good turnout. Thank you, Dan. Great songs. Um, the next open mic will be Monday, April 3rd. That's going to be uh, another hybrid one with people on Zoom and people in the library. So hopefully some of you can make it to that. And oh, if anybody, my, my historical program is at Concord, New Hampshire Library the last Wednesday of the month at uh, 6.30 or something like that, if anybody's up in the middle of New Hampshire <laughs> on the 29th. History and music. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Thanks, Dan. Dan. Thanks everybody. Yes, Thanks, Dan. Everyone. Thanks so much. Good night, all. Founded good, everybody. <laughs>